These are the framed pearl drop earrings we're going to make. And these are designed to coordinate with the framed pearl drop necklace that we made in another video so that you have a nice matching set. So let's talk about the materials you're gonna need. For these earrings, you're gonna need two four millimeter pearls or round beads, two six millimeter pearls, some super duos, you're gonna need four per earring, and then you're also going to need 15 seed beads, two per earring, you're going to need some 11 o Toho seed beads, and you're also going to need two 6 or 8 Toho seed beads, one per earring, to attach the ear hook with the jump ring. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with a stop bead on the end of my thread. Then I'm going to thread on my needle, a Super Duo, a 15 seed bead, a 4 millimeter, a 15, super duo, and two 11 O's. And I'm going to string that on. Then I'm going to go back through the other hole of the last super duo I put on. And I'm going to put on a super duo. Check both holes and then go through the other hole of the first super duo I added. Now I'm going to put on two 11 O's. And I want to go through this super duo in 15, four millimeter, 15 and super duo. So I'll do that. Continuing. So I'm coming out the Super Duo. And at this point, you can take off the start, uh, the stop bead that we started with. And I'm going to continue through these 11 O's. And then I'm going to put on two more 11 O's. And go through the tip of this Super Duo. Pull that tight. Put two more 11 O's on. And go through these 11 O's. Here's a good place to tie a knot. Next, I'm going to string on six 11 O's in a super duo. Next, I'm stringing on 12 seed beads, 11 O's, and a six millimeter, and I'll string that on. Then I want to go through, back up through the last six seed beads here. but not through the six millimeter. Then I put on six more 11 O's and I go through the other hole of the Super Duo. Then I put on six more 11 O's, and I want to go through all four of these 
seed beads. Then I put on an 11 0, a 6 or 8 seed bead, and another 11 0. And I want to go through all of the seed beads around to reinforce. So I'll go through, just follow it around. following it all the way around. So I'm going to continue it around to where this thread is coming out, and that's where I'll tie a knot. So I'm coming out of the same seed bead that the other thread is coming out of, and I'll tie a knot. And then we can snip the ends. And now we just need to add the ear hook. So we take the jump ring, we open it up, we feed it through that top six or eight seed bead, and then we can put on the ear hook. and close it. 